okay next we are going to the environment setup to start with the environment setup first you have to follow the guide according to your system if you are using windows then you can only do the android build if you are using mac mac can support both android and ios development and you can able to build the application for both devices so if you are uh, using the windows then you have to install the node.js jdk 17 and android studio and android studio will be have inbuilt sdk that basically we need it uh, for the our react native environment now to start with the setup this is the link that we need to go on the uh, react native official documentation and here we can choose the options like if i'm using mac and i want to do the uh, setup for android then this is the guide so if you're using mac uh, there is a tool homebrew that that we can install it and it will do the job so this is the homebrew package you just have to copy it and run on the terminal so let's open a terminal here so here we just need to enter it so it, it will ask the password when you give it the password uh, and press enter it will install the homebrew and after installing the homebrew then you need to check here the brew command so yeah if it is working then let's come back to here then you just have to do brew install node and brew install watchman and then this is how we can install the uh, jdk 17 brew install and the name of that jdk here uh, it's a julio uh, julio at rate 17 and then once you do all these things uh, we need to export the path java home this you have to put it uh, in the bash profile or you can create a zshrc file uh, and just set it the home uh, this environment variables now once you set it this java home path after that just download the android studio once you able once you download the android studio uh, open the android studio so here we have android studio and just come to here sdk manager now here in the sdk manager uh, the first thing that we need to check it's google play arm 64 system image this is only for the mac uh, for the windows there is a uh, x86 64 image and then here just go through the android sdk platform 33 above or 33 also work fine so just check, uh, select these packages and here also this one so once you select this all packages uh, we need you need to download it just click on apply and then ok i already have this uh, packages installed in my local so i'm just pressing it ok so now once you do all this the next thing that we need to set it the android home so this is the android home that you have to set it in the uh, in your bash profile or if you are using uh, zshrc file then you can uh, just uh, set the environment variables there and just set the path so these are the configurations that required for the android and for the ios here we need to just make sure we have node js in our local and then we need to you need to install the xcode that you can able to find uh, in the mac app store so once you go and open xcode here just create any blank project or you can open it uh, the xcode with the project now here you have to go and on the top uh, you need to choose in the xcode settings in the settings just click on this command line tools and at here you, you just make sure uh, it uh, the command line tool has selected and if it even if it is selected just click on it again 
and then close it so this is the uh, setup that we required uh, for the Xcode for the iOS and also uh, to install the emulator here you have to go to Xcode settings and then uh, on inside preferences select the platform for component tab where you can select the, uh, the simulator or even on the top you will be able to get here a link uh, get that simulator so if you go to Xcode settings and add here uh, inside components here you can uh, install the required uh, OS uh, the required uh, simulator and for my case uh, there is an iOS 18 that already I have installed it so this is the setup that we uh, need it uh, in the local and if you are use if you are using windows machine and on the windows machine ios will not be supported uh, for the android you, ju you just have to first install the node.js and jdk then you have to set the path that in the environment variables and here you have to install it the android studio then once you install the android studio uh, the same thing that we did uh, you have to go to more action and then sdk manager inside sdk manager make sure this have uh, selected if it is not then select it and install the packages so we need android sdk platform 34 and this is the image that we needed uh, in the sdk tools once you installed all these uh, required images then here you need to set it the path in your environment variables in the in the path we need android home and java home so just set it that so after setting that all uh, paths in the en environment variables the next thing that we need to do is uh, basically to check if that uh, simulator or the emulator in android is working fine in your local for that let's create a empty project or before also you can go to android studio if you want to create the uh, if you want to create the and emulator for, for the Android you have to go to here and just go to this uh, virtual device manager and here in the virtual device manager just click on plus icon here and choose the uh, device that you want to uh, create it and click on next here choose the image that you want to add it then click on next and do finish it will create a virtual device for you uh, basically the emulator and then em that emulator you can run it in your local so this is the environment setup guide uh, the next thing that we are going to do is uh, checking the development uh, workflow where we will create a project and run the uh, project in local basically we'll check that project if we are able to run on an, the device now to run the device on local or just to you know start the project in local we have two options either we can go with the uh, virtual machine like the simulator or the emulator uh, to test the application in local or the second option is we can plug the uh, physical device via usb uh, and for that we need to enable the uh, developer mode so we'll try both the option first let's create a new project for creating the new project here we have a documentation get started with react native okay and here uh, there is a command npx create expo but uh, for this course we are going to use react native cli so here uh, you will be able to find the option to start with react native cli so let's go without using a framework and we'll run basically this command first in the terminal let's open a terminal here and we'll press hit enter and let's create a project here learn react native let's give it five so it take a couple of minutes to install all that dependencies and create a new project let's set the cocoa codes so the project has been created let's open this project so this is the basic project structure uh, that it has created 
for this course we are using a uh, react native latest version that is 0 0.76 0 0.76.1 and here this is the package json which have which have all that dependencies that it required for just the initial startup and here we have one vendor folder i think that has been added for i think that is added for ruby okay and here we do have android and ios folder that is basically we can put it if we want to override anything we can put it the code there and here this is the app.tsx file that is the main entry point of the application so here in the index.js like in the react we do register the component the same thing here it is registering the component app name in the app registry now let's open a terminal here and we just will hit run npm start when we start when we do npm start it will uh, start a metro bundler i think we need to install more modules again let's do npm install so here it will uh, give the options that we want to use it like if you want to start it uh, on ios then we need to press it i and if we want to run it on android you can press it a so let's try first with ios i'm going to hit i so when we'll start the build for the ios if there if the uh, simulator is not running it will start the simulator here we see it has started the simulator for the ios so before starting the uh, building the ios uh, application we also need to install the ports for installing the ports this step we need to do it only for the ios we have to we need to go to this uh, ios folder and just hit here this command post port install this will basically install all that dependencies that required okay so this is done now we'll start the metro bundler again let's hit i okay it successfully built it the ios application now we see it is loading that bundle file index.js in the device so yeah here we go uh, this is our basic uh, screen that it has loaded now let's go to back this is the application that it has installed in the simulator and this is our app.tsx component now to understand more about this project android and ios is the native directory for the respective uh, platform this is for android and this is for ios so when we build any of uh, the application it is basically a create a build folder inside that directory to work in the react native project until we don't need to uh, until we don't have any requirement to modify the native code or let's overriding any uh, packages or creating any native module then this both directory we don't need to you know uh, touch it until we don't we need to uh, configure any anything inside these directories let's say if by default this is uh, running with the new architecture if we need to uh, disable it so yeah, then we need to go to the gradle load properties and here the new architecture enabled is by default is true so earlier it was uh, by default it was set it false now when we create new project it is uh, marked as true now if you change this to false and uh, build the application uh, this is for android so it will not use that new architecture it will use the legacy architecture let's change some code here i'm removing all the code from this uh, app.tsx component and here let's just give a text let's just give a text here text hello world so now we can see here 
uh, when we have added text here the changes are refreshed the application is refreshed and changes are available on the device without building it again so this is the feature of react native uh, fast refresh where when, when whenever we'll make any changes on the, in the react component that changes will be available instantly uh, on the device without rebuilding it so if you wanna uh, disable the fast refresh uh, you need to go to uh, developer uh, menu for the mac you can use control command z you will be able to open the uh, dev drawer and here we can disable fast refresh if you want when you disable fast refresh now here let's say if we have changed anything here and press save we will not be able to see the instant change for this we need to refresh the application now here when i press r this will be refreshed and here now we can see that change 